This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Friday, December 2nd. Costa Venezia wrapped up her final voyage for Costa Cruises on Thursday as she now prepares to join Carnival Cruise Line's fleet next year. The 2019-built Vista-class vessel departed Istanbul on November 20th with her final Costa voyage, visiting ports in Turkey, Egypt, and Israel. Venezia will soon go into dry dock to be renovated in preparation to be added to Carnival's U.S.-based fleet through a concept that Carnival is calling Carnival Fun Italian Style. The ship will receive the new livery that mixes Costa and Carnival colors, highlighted by Costa's yellow funnel. Costa Venezia is set to launch a year-round schedule of voyages from New York City starting next June. And it was a record-breaking past week for multiple cruise lines. For the third time this year, Royal Caribbean broke its single-day booking record on Black Friday. The day was included in what is now the brand's highest volume booking week ever. Sister line Celebrity Cruises also recorded its single largest booking day on Black Friday, followed by its strongest ever Cyber Monday. And Holland America Line also hit a record on Black Friday, up 20% from Friday reservations in 2019. And finally, Princess Cruises is increasing its pricing for its Plus and Premier inclusive add-on packages and has announced some new features that will be included in each package. For sailing starting February 20th and beyond, the Princess Plus package will cost $60 per person per day, up from $50 previously, with new additions including two premium desserts and two fitness classes, also unlimited juices. The uh, Princess Premier package is costing $80 now, up from $75, and it'll include unlimited premium desserts, juices, fitness classes, plus reserved seating in the theater, and a complimentary ocean medallion device. For more information and details on each package, you can visit cruiseradio.net because it sure is hell confusing. Guests can book the upgraded packages starting on December 14th. And cruise line stocks were mostly flat on Thursday. Carnival Corporation, 9.96, Royal Caribbean, 60.92, and Norwegian, 16.65. Breaking news and industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. Thank you so much for bearing with me this week. I've had a nasty upper respiratory thing happening here with the flu, and uh, it kicked the crap out of me. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have a blessed weekend. The proceeding was a production of Cruise Radio. For more accurate and dependable updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.